In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own storyboards using the software Storyboarder. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now today I'm going to show you how to create storyboards for your animation using the software Storyboarder. And the great thing about Storyboarder, it is absolutely free. So what I'll do is... In the description box below there's a link just click there and it will take you to the website to download it like I've mentioned it is absolutely free and I like to use this um, software for my animations and I'll show you later on in this video exactly why I prefer this web uh, this software because it really makes my work um, so much easier especially when I create my animatic and also when I animate so um, once you open up storyboarder you'll get to this screen and then what you do is you click on create new storyboard and then obviously one will open off screen it shows um, the different options then you just select 16 by 9 sorry that just went um, off screen and then you just go and let's just say I'm gonna call this test. and then you basically open up so it's very important when you open it it just went off screen on my split screen uh, but you just select um, create new project and then you select it 19 by uh, or 16 by 9 ratio which is your HD ratio and that's quite important because later on you're going to use these images for your um, animatic okay so you want it to be in the correct ratio already okay and so basically this is how the software looks at the top you've got your different drawing tools um, so what I like to use is I like to use a pencil and let's just make it bigger so we can drag it and we can draw and undo make it thinner still more let's make it 10 or 9 I think that's better okay so now you can basically draw um, so let's draw about four different images so let's say the opening scene is a house and so I'm just gonna draw a rough house quickly nothing there is a little bit of a latency when I draw so I'm not gonna with the screen capturing so I'm not going to go a lot into detail and let's say there's a background and this is your picket fence so I'm just drawing rough like I say it's a bit difficult to draw now with uh, latency so I'm just going to draw and we can maybe add a tree. Nothing spectacular for now. Um, you can decide uh, when you create your storyboard how much detail you want in your storyboard. Okay, And so now you can have... Um, there's obviously going to be no dialogue in the scene so what you can do is you can also um, let's just uh, so what you can do is you can write in dialogue there or you can just click on action and now you can make some notes as well so with action I'm just gonna say camera zoom in And then what I can do is I can use this to indicate the camera zooming in as well. So let's just 
show some arrows. So normally what you do is um, with the color, you can use different colors for different purposes. So for example, red arrows can show your um, camera movement and then maybe blue arrows can indicate character movement. Um, just so that you know when you look at your storyboard and you see all the different arrows, you know, okay, this arrow means the camera is moving and this arrow means um, your character is moving. So we've got our opening scene. Now we can click there and now we can simply create a new one. So let's show maybe a character he is sitting on a couch. Okay. Again, I'm just drawing very rough here. And there is maybe the room. And there's a front door. And so again, and there's maybe a carpet right there. So again, just a rough um, sketch and if you want to move this you can click there and you can maybe drag it maybe something like that and you deselect that go back to pencil and maybe you can now draw a window so you basically do your planning so this is our second um, screen and let's add some notes or action so what I am going to do now is I am going to click on action and now I can say character is watching TV. Okay, and then notes. Um, you don't have to write any notes for now. And so let's do our next one. So it is now maybe a bit closer. So let's add and let's do a close-up of our character and maybe he's a bit angry uh, again sorry for the poor drawing but my um, like I say this drag <laughs> is quite hectic and um, so we can maybe make him angry like so and then we can maybe in notes we can say um, Just say character looks angry. And then, okay, this is a spelling mistake. And then we can maybe just drag up a little bit. And so in dialogue, let's say he's saying, oh, there's nothing on TV. Okay, so now we've got three scenes, basically. We've got an opening scene. We added some action. Um, here, again, we've added some action. And, again, action with, um, with some dialogue. So you can basically create your entire um, storyboard. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do the these three frames. So now let's say your storyboard is done. Now I want to show you why I use or love storyboarder software. So the first thing I will do is file and I will then um, export scene images. Okay, so if I do that, what will happen is it will then export each individual um, frame as an image okay and then basically once that is done um, I can import those images into my editing software to create my animatic so I don't I have to draw on a piece of paper scan everything in um, basically all my images is already in a folder and I can just drag them in and everything is set. So it's it saves you so much time when you want to create your animatic. The second reason why I love the software is when I animate and I want to use my storyboard as my reference, I can then go file and then um, uh, print or export to PDF. Okay. 
Okay, so what then happens is it will then create a PDF, a PDF file with all the images and it will also have your notes as well as your dialogue uh, written underneath. And this is perfect because now I um, can just print this out. I can have it right next to me and I can, when I animate, I can use this as my reference. And you can also just customize columns for with three rows so you can maybe just um, customize everything and then once you're done you can either print it or export to PDF file and um, yeah then you've got your reference as well when you animate um, because when you you can't reference off your animatic um, but if to have this on a piece of paper right next to you it just helps you so much uh, when you animate so I love this software because it just makes my process um, so much faster. It is very quick to create my animatic because with a few clicks I can export this entire storyboard as images and I can import it with one drag into my editing software and I can create my animatic and then with a few clicks I can print this out um, in a way that I can easily follow along and use it as a reference when I animate. So guys, let me know how do you create your storyboards. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Do you use Storyboarder as well? Do you have um, other software that you use? I would love to hear from you. So leave some comments down below and I will see you guys next week with another video. So from me, God bless and happy animating.